What's up everybody, it's Conger Live. We're back again with another DC Worlds Collide video. In today's video, we're going over the update notes that were posted a couple hours ago, a few hours ago, depending on uh, when you're watching this. Uh, if you're new to the channel, did you kick the like button, subscribe for more content, and let's get into it. Okay, so in the game news channel in Discord, they send us to Facebook. I guess they're wanting more Facebook traction, which is why they're sending us here, because before they would just copy paste this and put it in Discord. Uh, I personally prefer using Discord. Uh, Facebook is not my favorite app, but I definitely have a Facebook, so we can get in here and check it out. So from DC Worlds Collide Official, in order to enhance the gaming experience for everyone, the server will be closed for maintenance on 6-9 from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. UTC plus 7. That's the same time that I'm at here in Thailand. Um, some people in Southeast Asia are UTC plus 8. So, you know, that would be 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. for those people. Um, if we're unable to finish the maintenance and schedule the server, opening time will be postponed. Uh, now, if you're in the U.S. because you're playing with APK or um, VPN, whatever, um, uh, here in Thailand, I'm at the exact same time as Central. Uh, I believe so UTC plus 8 is the is the same it's 12 hour difference from uh, East Coast so East Coast would be 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. when it's down um, which would make like 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. for West Coast I believe if I'm not mistaken but just double check the time code uh, for you to know when it's down it's the same It's the hour before the hour after your daily reset okay uh, thanks for understanding. Uh, so new modes and features, new character intel. He's a wise and brave commander of the Green Lantern who leads the core of victory. A completely new character, Green Lantern John. We were correct. It is John. Is here. Confirmed here. They didn't give us his image with it filled in yet. That'll probably come tomorrow with his kit details because um, I don't think his details are in this post. After the update maintenance, the crypt encrypted tokens or diamonds and recruitment to, for a chance that he'll join your team. I have over 120 tokens so by law of averages i should be able to get at least one copy of him i've usually done better than that but you never know so law of averages right new character trial summers who managed to recruit john will unlock his exclusive character trial tap on adventure earth character trials to enter so i will hopefully be able to unlock john and do his character trial for you guys for some uh, videos later this week the Green Lantern John limited time pool is here during the event from 6-9 to 6-16. Increased chance during the event, the encrypted tokens and diamonds recruitment get chance. John will be increased to 30% upon drawing an epic character. Since an epic character is guaranteed after 40 draws on these tokens, then, like I said, I have 120. That's four epics. One out of four with a 30% increased chance should mean... I should get at least one copy based on a lot of averages. But, you know, you never know. Maybe I won't get them after dumping all that in there. I really hope I do. Fingers crossed. He'll be added to the other pools during the next version update. So it won't be available right away, but the following update. So this update, I'm sure that there's some other characters that are being added that weren't available before as well to regular pools. Light of the Leader event is here. Light up the Green Lantern John illustration fragments and complete the limited time event to obtain special rewards from Green Lantern John. So this is just like the other events, I'm pretty sure. Complete event exclusive daily missions and cumulative missions to earn Green Lantern emblems and core leader emblems. So those are the two items used to unlock the tiles on the illustration. Spend a certain number of Green Lantern emblems and core leader emblems to activate Green Lantern John's puzzle pieces to obtain encrypted tokens, diamonds, and eighth medal. Eight, that eighth medal is really really useful we want that for our legendaries after the event ends the tokens get turned into coins and diamonds so that's pretty cool you don't get a whole lot of extras of those though so if you play every day you'll be able to get everything new collection intel so located on oa is the central reservoir of power of the emotional spectrum of willpower. Every Green Lantern has a small version of the Green Lantern power battery to charge our ring. This power battery is the central power battery for those smaller batteries. A completely new precious collection, Green Lantern power battery is here. 
after the update maintenance, participate in the collection research event for a chance to add it to your collection. So these collection events, um, they are not for free-to-play players. Uh, even whales sometimes have tough times getting them based on luck, or you just got to spend a lot of money uh, to unlock these collection items. Um, so this really does separate the pay-to-win versus the free-to-play players. Um, I don't know how good it's going to be. We won't know until it comes out. Right now, the plane is still the best of these rare collection items, but who knows? Maybe this power battery is going to be freaking awesome. We'll have to wait and see. And there's a new artifact. The Atlantean helmet is here. The Atlantean helmet is an artifact exclusively used by tank characters. It can restore greatly hit points and dispel many debuffs. After the update, resonance use random coordinates or diamonds to search for a chance to obtain it. So this is kind of interesting because it's for tanks. So maybe that's hinting that Green Lantern John is a tank. It didn't say up here what type of character he is. We'll have to wait, right? Um, and being Atlantean, maybe that means when Aquaman comes to the game, maybe he's going to be a tank. I don't know. Maybe that's a hint for there. Maybe it's a Aquaman. Although maybe that they would have a trident for Aquaman. We'll see. We'll see what it's like. After the update, maintenance, use random coordinates or diamonds to search for it, a chance to obtain it. So um, I do want to get some artifact draws in maybe before this because I still don't have any of the others. Because the odds of getting new ones, I don't know. The odds are going to change when they add more. Basically, it gets less likely that you're going to get any one artifact the more they add there's a new game mode battle assist is here we'll be welcoming a completely new cooperative game mode battle assist gather your friends and guild members to challenge the enemy together and earn rewards after clearing main stage 1830 to unlock tap multiverse battle assist to enter summoners can use assist guides to summon enemies for training for enemies summoned by yourself you can gather friends or guild members to fight together successfully complete the training to gain loads of rewards after assisting friends or guild members in trains, you can obtain an assist reward. So this sounds really, really cool. I love how there's tons of game modes already in this game, and they're just giving us more stuff to do with friends or um, guildmates. Now, the nice thing is about this is now you have a purpose for having friends on your list that they can help you out. The new lab decoration is coming. It's summer red, so we just had the lantern green. Now it's summer red. That's another thing because it's red. That also maybe hints to the fact that this new green lantern is going to be a strength. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, but pretty cool. I think these things are definitely worth buying until you can get to the max uh, passive boost. So I'm definitely going to be making sure I save some of my diamonds for purchasing these decorations as they come out with more. There's a greater discount for purchasing the themed bundle. I think that might be a real money shop as opposed to buying with diamonds. Not sure. Decoration vouchers can be obtained via purchase in a store. The Digital Universe event, limited time event, is here. Now, this won't start until 616. So, after the first event, uh, the John event and John pool, this first week, the following week, we will have the Digital Universe event. New limited time quadrant transformation has been. Added Digital Universe star Sapphire Carol has finally found Hal. How will the two and Jessica get along? Clear the stage to obtain a collection rank of chip, ninth metal fragment, in neutral night, and other generous rewards. Go explore now. Well, go explore on 616. So a week from Thursday. New pack. Character growth pack feature adjustments when players own more than or equal to four legendary characters, they will be able to trigger character growth packs. Want to train a specific character but miss their corresponding character growth pack? A character selection feature will be added in the new version. Players can select a character they need from those they own to trigger their character growth pack. Note, characters at max rank or whose pack already active cannot be selected. So this is kind of nice uh, that maybe you can activate um, the growth pack for those legendary characters. I think this is going to be like here. Here you go to the whales. Uh, more so than the free-to-play players or the light spenders, but any free stuff is great. Uh, increase the quantity of 8th metal and inertron knight in packs. Decrease the quantity of elite character fragments and inertron fragments. No! Decrease the quantity of elite character fragments? Ouch! Those are already a crunch. And inertron fragments. Ouch! Inertron... Oh my gosh. People want to rank up their characters and they want to rank up their emblems. 
to decrease those is so annoying. Oh man. I mean, you get more eighth metal and Inertronite in packs. Inertron fragment. Oh man. Adjust the purchase limit to various packs. Wow. Okay, so that's uh, this is something I don't think is gonna is gonna go over well. I want more elite character fragments. <laughs> Daily and weekly pack adjustments. Uh, this is for you know real money spending. Um, new super token pack 1999 has been added weekly pack. Um, I'm not gonna spend much time on that. Optimizations. Uh, unrestricted arena adjustments due to technical reasons. The unrestricted arena season beginning six five will be extended from two weeks to three weeks. Subsequently, all seasons durations will revert to two weeks. So only this one new season starting, or the one that we just started actually, um, is actually gonna be a three week season. Um, but the rest are gonna go back to two weeks. Uh, so a little bit longer season this time, which is could be good or bad depending on your perspective. The timing of ultimate battle elimination rounds has adjusted. There's no change to the timings for the rounds of 64, 32 to 64, 32, 16, quarterfinals, semifinals. The finals have been changed to, well, okay, all the different times have been changed. Interesting. So only an hour apart, second day, oh, third day. Hmm. We will compensate summoners for the inconvenience caused by the extension of the season. Oh, well, that's nice. It's not really much of an inconvenience, if you ask me, other than it's taking longer to get your rewards again. Um, greatly reduced the difficulty of obtaining point rewards for mini games in the character lounge in Gotham Carnival. Well, that's nice. Um, I've been able to get all of those done except for the Batman one. I, I tried that when I was a brand new player. I didn't know the the, the images well enough yet, so um, maybe I'll go back in there and, and get the max of those. Not much I'm missing there personally, but I, I can see how that was really annoying. Some of them take a lot of time or patience. <laughs> when summoners, digital universe, summoners discover cheats in digital universe, the corresponding reward can be obtained directly and no longer need to be brought out via the dimensional portal. Ah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, you used to have to finish the universe to get the reward. Now you get the rewards right away when you collect the chest. That's kind of cool. This applies to both digital universe and digital universe's limited times. Nice. That's really awesome. I think that for the limited time events, especially, um, there are maybe people who were playing through it, couldn't beat it, and then they didn't get any rewards, which is why they made that change. Today's bulletin feature adjustment can now display information about the guild that summers belong to. Okay, that's kind of cool. Optimize the text description. Um, okay, that's fine. Reduce the stage difficulty to level one for various bosses in Evil Falls to enhance the gaming experience. Reduce stage difficulty of level one. Oh, okay, just for the first level. So I guess for new players, uh, Evil Falls doesn't seem so hard. Sure, not bad. Uh, added items that can be sold. Sold. After ranking up an artifact to its max rank, its fragments can be sold for artifact tear up materials from the backpack. Well, that's kind of cool. Duplicate character lounge decorations can be sold for diamonds. Duplicate character lounge decorations can be sold for diamonds. Wow, okay, so right now you can't get duplicate character lounge decorations, but I guess that's something that's coming with this new summer red. Um, maybe there's ways of getting duplicates, and so they want to make sure that you, because of the tickets, I guess, that they're having. Interesting. Optimize the display format of wish conditions. You have to spend a certain amount of money a day to get a wish. For me in Thailand, because it's in bot, it's 69 Thai bot a day, which is like, what, two ninety nine probably in American uh, USD. Um, we have the beginner assist guides from drone rewards produces one every 12 hours. Uh, okay, so the assist guides, this is um, probably an item for the new assist uh, game mode. Um, so they're adding that because the game mode unlocks at 1830. So now you get these items which probably let you assist or ask for assistance. We'll have to see how that goes when that comes out. Players who have cleared can exchange for advanced assist guides from the guild shop. Okay, so there's different assist guides, beginner and advanced. Not sure what those do yet, but like I said, we'll figure it out when it's out. The stacking quantity price and purchase limit of equipment enhancement parts in the diamond shop have been adjusted. Vanguard assault area boss. Parademons will no longer move immediately after reviving. Okay, yeah, that was kind of annoying. Uh, the second day login reward for summers have been adjusted from elite character Black Canary to elite character Holly Quinn. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of not so great. Black Canary is better than Harley Quinn. So, 
New summoners, get your Black Canary while you can. Buck Fist, fix the issue of base attributes type error for Enhanced Sphere Purple. Okay, interesting. So that's the maintenance notes. That's starting on Thursday morning. So when that all hits, we'll be looking at Green Lantern. John, let me know what you think about these notes in the comments down below. Like always, Ninja Kick the like button and subscribe for more content. And we'll see you in the next video.